All right, so let's tie this week's theme up. Do you work really hard at the sacrifice of everything else in your life, or do you just kind of take it easy and coast through everything? Where do you fit in that generational line of what your grandparents did, what your parents did, what you're doing so that you can provide for your kids? How does all that tie together? Let's tie it all together, sum it up, see where we're at. It's kind of like a, a two-sided coin, all right? Well, I mean, what coin isn't two-sided now that I mention that? Uh, <laughs> On one side of that coin, all right, you want to relax a little bit. You want to just not destroy yourself and the life around you for the sake of this thing that you're trying to build, this thing that you're trying to do. Whatever it is, you probably shouldn't sacrifice your family time for that. You probably shouldn't sacrifice your health. Maybe in the short term, sure. But there needs to be some kind of balance because you can only go so long without sleep. You can only go so long ignoring your significant other before they leave you, right? So you need to take a deep breath. But also, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? I mean, that is so cool that you learned the flute in high school. That's awesome. Like, can you even hold a flute now? Do you even know how that works? All skills require a consistent amount of practice to maintain them, to grow them. And if you're not spending 30 minutes a day working on that new skill. How are you ever going to be skilled enough to use that to get a better job, to use that to build your own company, to achieve whatever it is that you're shooting for, right? And it doesn't have to be a half hour a day, okay? Maybe it's two hours a day, three times a week, six hours, okay? If you're trying to build a company and you spend six hours doing it, it's going to take you it depends on the company, right? Maybe five years. It might take a while because a job takes 40 hours a week. And not always. A lot of times you're done with your work and, uh, you know, between one and 20 hours a week. But the point is trying to fit a 40 hour work week into six hours. Well, you're going to have to stretch that out. And that's how it becomes that coin issue. Yes, you really need to hustle and grind and get it done right now and every day, four hours after I get off work, I'm, I'm going to cut into sleep. I'm not going to hang out with anyone. Sure, sure. But if you just pace that down a little bit, you just do the half an hour, you just do two hours, three times a week, and you give yourself a wider time frame, like my wife and I were discussing in the, on Monday's video, then you can do it over the course of the next five years, you have to be a little more organized. You know, all your, your ducks have to be in a row. You know, your life has to be in such a way that you're still taken care of while you're trying to build this amazing thing. Sure, sure. But give yourself some mercy. Have grace for, for what's going on in your world. You, you probably aren't going to build the thing tomorrow, right? And so pulling your hair out to accomplish it now, 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 now isn't going to work. But also, you can't just say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, and then I'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow comes, and, and I'll do it tomorrow. Like, you just keep putting it off, and it will never happen. So it's a balancing act of finding the time to do it regularly, so your skills stay up to date, so you're constantly growing, but not burning yourself out. And that's, that's tricky. That's a hard thing, right? Anyone who's ever experienced what I'm describing as it relates to exercise, right? You, you discover that you like working out. It, it just clicks for you suddenly. You just want to spend every minute in the gym. Well, you, you can't do that after a certain point. You need to sleep. You need recovery. You need days off from the gym so your muscles actually grow in that recovery process. And then you can go back and give it your 100%. But eventually you're going to be on that bench press and your elbow's going to snap and everything's going to go to heck because you didn't balance your life out. You just went 100% full bore down the road. And that's not easy to do, right? It's not easy to just go, I'm going to take my time and relax when you have this voice in your head that's saying, achieve, achieve, accomplish, get it done. I need this thing. I need it now. Sure. Sure. And it's not easy to motivate yourself to get up and actually do the 30 minutes or the two hours of work when you're exhausted from a long day of work anyway and, and dealing with family and you sat in traffic for two hours and you're just, 
Okay, now I'm going to sit in front of this computer and learn this programming language. Now I'm going to study this thing for my uh, accounting certification. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. I get it. Both of those are constantly fighting within you. And finding that middle ground, is, it's not going to be easy. And what works for me isn't going to work for you. But if you find that, you find that middle ground, you find that balancing point where you're able to take every part of your life and not neglect any of them and give time to each of them in turn, have that mercy for yourself such that all of those parts of your life are mature and fulfilled after five years. You know, set that goal. I, I honestly think this is why in high school they were like, oh, what's your five-year plan? And at the time you're like, <laughs> Doritos, World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, some of us said things like, oh, college, you know, everyone's doing college, I'm going to do that. But maybe you didn't have an idea for what you wanted then. But that tool of what are you going to do in five years from now? What's your five-year plan? That's an amazing tool. That's, that's an amazing framework to give your mind to play with. Like, excuse me, where will I be in five years such that I'll thank myself today for having done the thing? Some days that's going to be, I'm so glad I sat down and worked. And some days it's going to be, I'm glad I rested. Hopefully you can figure it out. And on your journey of figuring it out, I wish you luck, okay? Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful weekend. And, you know, don't burn yourself out. See you around.